making this thing jump? Um, you should probably ask Justin. He's the he's the man. He's the man. Right there. What's, what's, what do you make of this thing? What's your... And that just, just got a bit of the pyramid. That's it. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, you said they, they did the georadar stuff. There's an anomaly down here. Some kind of hole. Who knows what's in there? Our job is just to ex excavate it, and then Sarah will come in and study it. So you've got like uh, a gap there. Yeah, uh, yeah, a big one. It goes down pretty deep. Uh, so that, so that, that could have been, what, a potential entrance? Like a, maybe it's not, anybody's guess this Maybe point. not for a human. But We're not sure exactly. Okay, yeah, that's it, it, still, it still has to be ex excavated. Yeah, I don't want to sure, make any sure. guesses. And all this layering, that looks like it must be extremely old if you've got all these yeah, layers on top yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. But it's much more layering than over the other side that's been yeah, done. Yeah, it's more than I've ever seen. Okay. Can we, is it okay if we, like, just flip that on for a yeah, second? Sure, yeah. Just to see what's under? Oh, is that the hole? There's a, there's a hole there that they didn't want the rubble to get in, so. Okay. Now Justin is our lead man for the volunteer group. He is from Canada. I want to say a few words, Justin, about the work and people you and... Yeah, I mean, we've got a great group here. Uh, it's taken us about two weeks to dig down from the top to this layer now. Uh, it should be about four meters until we reach the concrete, maybe a little more. So it looks like in that crack there, we just sort of uncovered it right now, today. And, uh, you know, a few more days we'll be able to get rid of the rest of these clay layers and uh, more of it should be exposed. We'll be able to see, uh, hopefully soon, how far this, these holes go. And you know what's underneath, but uh, it's it's going real well. We've uh, got a great group of volunteers for the last shift and this shift. Everyone's working hard and uh, very enthusiastic. We're uh, we're getting close. We're getting close in here. And what about the inspection, you know, Simon? You were told, telling us that it is protected uh, uh, protected area. Doesn't it count for this? Yeah. Well, those unnecessary questions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just For four to, years, uh, while the other ministry <laughs> was there, you know, they did not let us work in protected or unprotected areas. And uh, this is like a border line here. So since the new minister is there, they don't really care about what we do here. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, they just need geo Concrete, yeah. That's why they, they yeah. here. You found this where? Yeah. There. Okay, sure. So here's uh, <coughs> concrete type stuff. Concrete back. Yes. Can I also want to say something? It was for the public. I didn't dig that. Klaus Donner is from Austria, for those of you who don't know him. Uh, uh, he looks like just kind of a rainfall. <laughs> yeah, yes. Not everybody knows. Yes, he wanted to say something. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> speech. No, you will see uh, uh, in my speech, I will show today to Sam. We didn't, we used, a friend of mine used a new technology. 
which can scan down <coughs> up to 3,200 meters using a special program through satellite. And I asked him before, when I, I got the invitation from Sam to attend uh, his uh, great uh, conference, I asked my friend, be so kind and make a check over the Sun Pyramid. And he did a check and you will see uh, at the ending of my speech, I will show you two, three uh, Google Earth photographs where he definitely was drawing all the tunnels and the empty caves and some caves with the bones inside the Sun Pyramid. And it starts from five meters at the beginning, around at the beginning of first third of the pyramid, you have already the first tunnel system, which is about five meters under the ground. So that's why <coughs> I was very much surprised here. You might be just before the end, one of the entrances, because suddenly the tunnel ends up, but still around five meters under the ground. That means there must be an entrance. And here, for me, it looks like you might have found one of these entrances. And then there are other tunnel systems. Some of them, the, the deepest one is 400 meters underground. And it goes up by certain distances. And it looks like the pyramid was built up like the, uh, like the Mexican pyramids, one after one after one, always getting bigger. So I'm not a geologist, I'm not an archaeologist, so I could not, and we didn't have time enough to talk before my departure to get all the scientific explanations from him. But maybe you, when you will see these photographs and the tunnel systems, you can figure out that there is a lot inside. Excellent. And on some parts, <coughs> it looks like one level tunnel system is ending up suddenly. But there is another one about 20 or 40 meters deeper starting here. That means, which, which he could not find out, is if there is a straight entrance going down to connect the next level. So, and we did not know about Yotis uh, excavation, which we visited this morning. So he didn't check this area. But when I come back, I will ask him uh, to do us the favor to check the area from where you have the, the labyrinth, Rabel labyrinth, to the Sun Pyramid, then you might see the, the, the easiest way to connect, to connect the pyramid. But as this looks already, and it's a kind of coincidence that today they find most probably this one. So I think, Sam, somebody is helping you. <laughs> <laughs> I call this. It's up. They come and dig as well. And in one of the of the rooms inside, he also detected bones. That means there must be a bigger uh, grave. From inside. a satellite? Yes. Okay. You, you won't believe it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> you won't believe it, but it works out because we had already two tests in southern Bavaria. Each one was 100% functioning. Even Via satellite, as you said, bones, and we found them. You won't believe it. <laughs>